The next stop is on the radar radio. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Yeah. Yes, sir, baby, on the radar radio. Yo, special guest in the building, De Niro Farrar. In the yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. So we were talking a little bit because I, I did, I'll say I messed up your name the first time by accident, right? Yeah. I tripped over I tripped over my words. But how many, like, when you do shows, like, do people be like Ferrara, like, or Ferrari? Like, how, like, what's been the craziest way that people have said the second part of your name? Um, I mean, Honestly, people don't even say the second part. They'll just say De Niro because they don't want to butcher it. I don't. I, yeah, they, they, they don't even mess around. They're just like, oh, come to the stage. We got De Niro. And then I just come out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. And then they're like, you know, because I think of like all the other people who who artists who are called either De Niro or De Niro. Yeah. And then it's like, you, you don't know which one you're going to get. You're going to get one of them. Yeah. You don't know which one you're going to get, though, because yeah, they won't say sure. your last name. But that's why you got to have a DJ. Right. Too. You know what I'm saying? So the DJ really introed me. And you know, what I mean, he understand. We we got we we got a connection. You got a mutual so. understanding about what exactly, we're doing exactly. Exactly. How yeah. you been, bro? I'm good, man. I'm blessed. I'm I'm blessed to be here back in New York City. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's a blessing. How about you? I'm great, man. Can't yeah. complain. It's Friday. You right? What you doing on this Friday Saturday? the thirteenth? It's today, Friday the thirteenth. Yes. That's it why is. all this sh- shit is happening to me today. Yep. Yeah. That's Friday why all this bad shit is happening to me today. I wouldn't bro. say bad. You you really you getting the business straightened out. Yeah. Well, yeah, it ain't yeah. bad. You got to do that. Yeah, you you, you go getting it that. figured out. So now it ain't bad. The, you know. Yeah. It is yeah. what it is. Yeah. But what you doing up here specifically? Like, I mean, besides this. Right. I, I have family in okay. New York. So I got mama up here. Mama in the building. Yep. I, I got brother. Uh, my brother, my niece, my nephew live in Queens. Okay. So yeah, man. Yeah, doing a family run. the Carolinas. I am, Charlotte. Charlotte, to yeah. be specific. Born and raised. Yeah. How long, uh, oh, yeah. born and raised in Charlotte. Yeah, for sure. I got to say, I love all the artists who come up here from Charlotte. All y'all really? have great energy. Good, good. Yeah, man. Charlotte is a dope place. Have you been? No, I haven't. I was going go to go for, is Dreamville Fest in Charlotte? No, that's in North Carolina. I think that's Fayetteville. Really? Fayetteville, yep. Fayetteville. Yeah, Fayetteville. My bad, I got that yeah. confused. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, I was going to go down to the Carolinas for, for that, but that was like the only time I ever had maybe driven or would have driven through there, but I've been wanting to go because just like, I feel like the artists that we get out of Charlotte is just like so, such a dope culture and all y'all sound different. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Definitely. Yep, yep. Shout out to Loot too. Shout out said You said Dreamville Fest. That made me uh, think about Loot. Yeah, shout out to Loot. Shout out. You and Loot have a relationship or? That's my dog. Yeah, that's my guy. How far back do y'all two go? Man, you know what? He was rapping with a group called Forever SC, mm-hmm. Forever FC or SC, Forever FC, I-, I believe, in Charlotte. This was years ago. Mm-hmm. So I knew of Luke then. I was on the scene. I had just got on the scene. Of course, they was on the scene doing their thing. And, you know, we would acknowledge each other in passing. And once the group kind of like separated, Luke was doing his own thing. Then he approached me and we started conversing. Okay. Um, and, and he was an independent artist. And we've been building ever since, for real. That's fire. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. I think. What comes out of like y'all's area is like you know obviously you have people like from the Carolinas you have people like the baby but then mm-hmm. you also have uh people like um I'm, try- I'm trying to think of his name he was just on the show not too long ago Ooh, Mavi. come back to me well well Mavi yeah Mavi yeah, Mavi yeah. of course Mavi of course and then I think of um oh John 4K. J- what's his name J J the uh D the Youngin. Youngin. yeah 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 D Youngin. Youngin. Uh-huh. yeah D yeah Youngin. yeah and everybody sure. who's associated with like his label um, uh huh. I said Lil John 4K. I'm trying mm-hmm. to think of all the other ones. There's a, I've had so many of them, but it's been like it's been cool having everybody because I feel like there's such untapped potential in that market sometimes too. Yeah. And it just it just needs that little boost to show yeah. everybody like yeah, it, it's coming. Stuff, I yeah. think that that has more so to do with business than it has to do with talent. Mm. You know, because at the end of the day, I feel like business supersedes talent. You can have a bunch of talent, but if the business not right behind the talent, it ain't going to go as far as it needs to. You're only as good as the people you got around you doing business for you. You right. know what I mean? So, yeah. And, and then sometimes, you know, you like you said, the business precedes talent. And then, you know what's crazy? Somebody on my show the other day was just like, yo, sometimes it's not about being talented. Sometimes it's about being chosen. And I was like, damn. Well, Lil Baby was chosen. Mm, yeah. But he's also talented too. I ain't taking that away from Lil Baby, but Lil Baby was chosen. Yeah. Everybody was trying to get Lil Baby. They felt he had a thing about him. You know, it wasn't because he was so crazy as a rapper. He had a thing. And they was like, yo, we could just get this kid to focus on this thing. He's chosen. Exactly. We have a system mm-hmm. in place that will guarantee his success. All he has to do is just adhere to what we're telling him. He chosen, and they chose him. 
and look at little baby right now. He was chosen. He was chosen. That's yeah, for insane sure. Insane to yeah. even think about. Yeah, because I remember like when he was talking about like uh, I watched. The, did you watch the Amazon documentary? Of course. Yeah. Great. Yeah. First of all, great, greatly shot film documentary. Yeah. All that. One of the best artist documentaries in recent memory. But I like how it actually like chronicled like the good and the bad stuff you know, mm -hmm. that he went through. And it's like, yeah, he was just hanging around doing dumb stuff and then young doug would offer him like 150k to yeah go home, yeah bro. Like, yeah don't be out here go home he's 150k like i think that's even crazy to think about when you look at artist journeys and whatnot for sure i mean but see that's the difference between little baby and other guys who just jump in it you know and and they may see a little bit of success but i mean the things little baby has done and will do gonna be out of this world bro because he chosen they chose him so they ain't gonna let him fall, bro. Right, and it's funny that yeah. we're having this conversation because I'm thinking, because I wrote down some tweets that because you're active on Twitter, right? And you kinda, can spit it yeah. on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can spit it on Twitter, but yeah, like it kind of yeah, made me yeah. think of this one tweet, like that I wrote. You wrote, uh, "Being humble will have you getting overlooked. Being meek, being meek will get you ran over, and having yeah. a good heart will get you taken advantage of." Bump. For sure. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's me. You be spitting, though. I go. I, I mean, like, that, that was that was real talk because that was me. A lot of the things that I did in my city, mm. I was trying to play humble about it, and and I'm not an arrogant person, but I was trying to play humble when people would try to give me the credit for the foundation that I laid in my city. Mm. You know, I would always be like, "Yeah, bro," you know, just kind of downplaying myself, and that really did get me overlooked. You feel what I'm saying? And and a lot of people that I helped in my city. It kind of got me shit on for real. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, it's like blessings come from God for real. I really believe that, not from man. I help people because I genuinely wanted to help people. You feel me? So I still got what's coming to me, but all that humble shit I was doing in, in the beginning, <laughs> like that's dead. I'm really him. You know what I mean? I like that. Yeah, they, they know. You know what I mean? My town know. You want to yeah. know Robbie told me to say that too. He'd yeah. be like, he'd be like, you really, well, he'd be trying to keep me humble, but then he'd be yeah. like, you got to remember at the, end, yeah. at the end of the day that like, you really him. Yeah. You know be, see, people get it confused that if you're not humble, you're arrogant. It is not. It's just accepting who you, I'm him for real. I can walk the streets and people will look at me like, who is this guy? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I get that type of energy coming to me because I really am him. I was born him. Mm -hmm. God created me like that. You know what I mean? Right. So, yeah. You were always meant yeah. for this, uh, this rock star rap life. I wouldn't say that because I live so? in Oregon. No, I, I don't care nothing about Oregon? no. Yeah, I live in Portland, Oregon. I ain't caring about no damn rock star rap life. I don't live like that. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? I don't smoke. I ain't out here on lean, on pills, none of that. Like, you feel me? I, so I don't live a rock star rap life. No. What about your gram? You look like you have a good time, though. I do, but if you look at my gram, it's like all fitness and shit. It is. I yeah, I was gonna get fitness, it. my kids, shows, freestyles. Uh, I, 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 last year I did 365 days of just giving out, excuse me, game and, and, and positivity and, you know, encouragement. Yeah. 365 days. I didn't miss a day. I was on my story just giving it. Right. Yeah. I feel like that's also why, cause when you're talking about like the tour and shit, that's why you and Zell mix so well too. So yeah. I feel like, like yeah. even like, as you said across from me, like the energy that Zell had is like, and you have is like very yeah. similar. For sure, that's been my dog, man. I, you know, the the funny thing about it is when I went on a tour with Zell, they actually brought me on the tour as his personal trainer because I went to school for personal training, got certified, mm -hmm. and he tours ACL, and they brought me on as a personal trainer, then added me to the tour as an artist. That's so yeah. dope. That's kind of yeah. fire, though. I yeah, for lie. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. wait, when wait, but how? What's the conversation where you go from the personal trainer to the? to touring as like the uh, uh as an artist on the tour too yeah well you know what denzel's first tour mm. we did a tour together called the bow down tour 2014 mm. and you know denzel is one of the best live performers period in the game and me mm. you know period though and and so they already knew i was him for years and then so when i went on the first leg europe leg i only did personal training and then when we got back to the states they brought me out on the show Okay. Um, one of the openers dropped off, I believe, or whatever. They brought me on, and he was like, bruh, like, you know, basically affirming that I was him, for real. Mm -hmm. Like, bro, you, I forgot, bro, you dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, you got to be on, you got to be on the tour, bro. You just have to be. And that's what it was. And you brought the energy. Every time. Every time. That's so dope, man. Yeah. That's a real, yeah. like, you know, we talking about God and things like that. That's right. real, like, God's plan. 
Exactly. Because it wasn't my plan. I was really just being obedient to what he had me doing, you know, because honestly, I was content with going on the road because I was getting a nice bag to personal train. So I wasn't really tripping Right. because I still had motion with my music. I was still dropping videos, singles and all of that being on tour with Zell. Freestyles. I got a freestyle on my page that went crazy. I dropped it on a tour bus. It's Zell in it. Yep, yep, yep. It went crazy. Yeah. That's fire, man. Yeah. I really like hearing shit like that because it's just like, you know, you often hear or you often see things and you're like, oh man, like that feels like it was forced or that feels mm -hmm. like, you know, it's a product of the machine. Right. right? Yeah. But that, but with you and Zell, it's just like, no, this is just a product of people being good people. You know what I'm saying? Man, when I'm in LA, I go to Zell Crib. My kids go to Zell Crib. They sword fight. You know, he play with his dog Ocean. Like we we family for real. Mm -hmm. You know, when I go to LA, I tap in with him. We politic. It, this this is so beyond rap. It don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. even like that, but like, you know, we we when we first uh came in here today, we we're talking about our, our good friend Armani White too. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Which is crazy to see his evolution mm. you know what i'm saying so yeah yeah and i think like i feel like when i first met armani right and like something that like and this kind of ties back to what we were just talking about you know like i feel like you know days go by very slow right mm -hmm. and what i mean by that is like when i see you know when i first met armani i'm like bro this guy is so talented he deserves to be here here and here mm -hmm. and like we met during the pandemic like i think after his house burned down the stuff with his brother all this and that and then like just to see how patience and hard work and mm -hmm. how just sticking to it gets you so far. Mm -hmm. Even in your case, you know, you going with what God intent, what God had you doing at the time, and yep. it turned into Torn, mm -hmm. and then the team where he's at with the Billie Eilish, and then now with the Go to Record with Zell. Yeah, like yep. I think that that is such a, a testament to just like you know God's timing. It is, and it, and and if I, I'm a firm believer, if He got it for you, you know what I'm saying, like. Nothing could stand in the way of that but you. If he if he has it for you, like this podcast, you're naturally like built for this. You know, mm -hmm. just the way you interact, how you segue questions, how you can lead and guide the conversation. Like you're natural at this. But had you not met God halfway with what he already had for you, you wouldn't have this right now. Right, absolutely. You see what I'm saying? But he already had it for you. But you know, you did the work and now you're here. Right. Yeah. You also said, uh, you also tweeted, uh, if you had $1.3 million, what would you do? <laughs> no, billion. Oh, billion. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, billion. Billion, my yeah, bad. If you won the lottery, yeah. $1.3 billion. Yeah. What would you do with the money? I'd probably sleep for like weeks. Yeah, I would sleep first. Yeah, I would sleep first. Because yeah. I, I don't, I don't, I, I you know, the way that we're programmed to condition right now, you know, it's the hustle, hustle, hustle. You don't sleep. All you do is grind. That's like, even if you're not physically grinding, mentally you're grinding, right? And you're still attached to the grind. Like when you probably go home, you're probably thinking, how can we expand the business? Like you don't, on the radar goes with you wherever you go. You're probably thinking like, damn, what, what can I do to make the business? But bro, I'd literally turn my brain off with $1.3 billion. Facts. Yeah, I would try to. Yeah, sleep. I would do numbers. I would buy the world's, the best bed in the world, and I would just sleep. <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah. I, I would buy the biggest mansion in Oregon. Yeah. Right? For sure. We'll be neighbors, yeah. right? We'll both have 1.3 billion. There we billion, go. And yeah. then we'll just sleep. You know That's what I'm saying? It. That's the kid, it. The kids will be outside, uh, whatever. I would sleep. hibernate. I wouldn't even sleep. I would hibernate. <laughs> like, yeah, bro. I would, I, I swear to God, I would black out curtains. I wouldn't even care what day it was. Sleep. All like yeah. all the stuff that we worried about before, Done. gone, eradicated, gone for sure. We yes. don't have to, everybody can just live their life how they want to live their life. Yep. yep, I can sit down, I can play video games for a couple hours, I, I can finally finish God of War. Like I can. That's what you would do with one point three billion. I wanna, you just I want to finish God of War. Damn. Okay. It's simple. I can't. I don't got time. It's like you yeah. said. Like my brain doesn't turn off. So even yeah. when I go home and I'm sitting in front of my TV, I watch one YouTube video and then I'll be like, Damn, I just thought of my idea. Exactly. So would you come back here? What do you mean? Would you come back here to work with you know? one point three billion dollars? Yeah. Hell no. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> this the last on the radar, uh, everybody. Oh, I will, I'm gonna win one point three billion tomorrow. I bet. Now you I'm, done? I'm done, man. I would still rap, bro. You it's still in rap? me. It's in me. Yeah, I'm music saying, is in me. See, I'm saying I'm. You say that and you be real rich ass to be right here <laughs> talking about all the ways you done been spending money today. You be interviewing yourself. You wouldn't even have artists on here no more. You just be talking to yourself. <laughs> It yeah. doesn't matter at the end of the day anymore. Yeah. It's like, you guys are so unimportant. Like, yeah, yeah, for sure. I feel like, uh, yeah, well, yeah. I would definitely have like a, I, I would turn this into like, if I had the 1.3 Billy and yeah. I kept doing this, this would be a penthouse studio. Oh, hold on. Let me just get this real quick. One second. There we go. Yo, just want to say, just wanted to call you up and say thank you for the help, bro. She getting that BTS. Come on, man. She going to run the show. I'm telling you, that's a fact. 
That's awesome, man. Yeah, and That's he told crazy, me, he said, bro. he's like, look, bro, he's like, I promise you in the next awesome, couple man. hours there's going to be real you motion. He's like, that. I'm not bullshitting you. He's awesome. like, you know what I'm saying? He even told me that you made a couple calls to try to get the Suno stuff figured out, too. All right, Moses Def, I'll let you know uh, when I see that change on the back end, and then if it's still there Monday, I'll holler at you. But nah, but I appreciate I appreciate the help, man, for real, for real. And I'll let you know when we put Suno's next one up, so that way we don't have to worry about that, too. Great. Yeah, I fuck with it. If you could make sure that that one also doesn't get like that, I would appreciate that, too. <laughs> You say you doing what? What? Okay. Okay. You gonna get corn? You know, you know they make so much stuff with corn. Yeah, you well, know they make like plastic, that, but then we all see. kind you know of stuff. Saying? Bro, I didn't know how much stuff they make with corn. That, yeah, like, but nah, I appreciate everything. I'm gonna, so interview, makes so I'm gonna let you go. But um, if anything, I'll holler really? at you. Thank you again, bro. I'll keep you posted about the Suno stuff. And so, well, people are always gonna die. My God, so, peace, yeah. peace. I would actually open up a hospital. All right. That's what I was saying. Um, People are always going to be sick. I'm going to reset that, right? And a jail. So if I had the 1.3, what I would do with this space, I would turn it into like a penthouse studio. Okay. Right? Overlooking like, New York? Overlooking the city. Okay. With the with the whole skyline in the background. Wow. Uh, like three layers of security. You know what I'm saying? Uh, why? Like, you think people are going to try to get to you? Absolutely. I, you know what? I, half, half if you have 1.3 Billy, yeah. But, but you know what? I would have to give half of my 1.3 Billy back because I would I would take my money anonymously. Because you have to give up half of it if you don't want to, you know, reveal your identity. So I would give up half the money. Really? That's yeah. the thing? I didn't know that. Yeah. You, if you don't want to reveal your identity, I think you have to give, you can only take half. They can see me. I'll have like 30 security guards around me at all times. What's up? And they all packing. See, I, I mean, what good is the money if, if, if you got to be like, like that to have it? I, like, I, that's why I don't really care about the fame. What good is being famous? Like 50 Cent said it. Best. He said being famous is like being a child. Right. You can't do anything anymore on your own. It's like always having a parent monitoring you. You want to go to the bathroom, somebody going with you. You want to go buy clothes, somebody got to go with you. Yeah. You want to go spend time with your homies, somebody got to go with you. I don't subscribe to that. Like, I pulled up here today, me and my homies, my mom. Yeah. Like, that's how I want to live. You yeah, know what I mean? That's how I want to live, too. Yeah. yeah right. why, why, why I need to be with other, 30 other grown men that I employ <laughs> that I don't really know? And it's a shit pop off and they run. <laughs> Or, 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 or the person who causing the shit to pop off, you know, the more he fucks around, the more he gonna find out. True. Well, you know, you gonna hire, you probably gonna hire nothing but assassins and killers. You gonna be running with some <laughs> cold blooded <laughs> people. Why do you think that? I'm gonna stay out your way. You, you get see, that 1.3 billion, I don't wanna be nowhere around you. <laughs> you ever, you seen Bullet Train? I did. You know what? I hated Bullet Train. What? Yeah, that was terrible. It was a terrible movie, man. Uh, well, I would hire, um, Trying to think which one. I would hire the, 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 the twins that weren't twins. Oh, the, the black dude. What's the dude, uh, dude from Atlanta? Yeah, uh, David he, Tyree. David Tyree. Tyree. He made it to the end. He ran that girl over. Yeah, he ran the yeah, girl yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Sorry, okay. spoilers, guys. I hated that movie. What? That movie. It was, I, it. I, I thought it was, but I, I, I ain't rock with it, bro. I didn't. It was, it was like, uh, it felt like a disgrace for Brad, Brad Pitt to be in that movie, man. It's like, I'm like, his career is done. Like I, what? I, yeah, it was a nah, terrible movie. It was not terrible, bro. Well, it, was it a Tarantino film? Because it was shot like a Tarantino. It was Tarantino definitely film. shot like a Tarantino film. Yeah, but it wasn't a Tarantino. Film. Really? I forgot who directed it. And that it. I don't respect. Why? Because it was shot like a Tarantino film. Yeah, I, I don't like that. That's like you having on forces, but they not. Respectfully. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I I got that. I don't know. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's a good turn my brain off movie. What did you like about it? I, it was just fun. I don't know. I just was thoroughly entertained. It like literally, you know, those movies where you could just turn your brain off and watch it. That's what that movie is for me. Okay. All right. Yeah. I guess I was waiting on a shoe to drop. It was just too much happening there, for me. I wish that there was a bigger shoe that dropped. I wish they got off the train. They didn't get off the train to the end because it crashed. Son, the, the train is called, the movie's called Bullet true. Train. Yeah, true. All right. Yeah, you're right. It was too it's unrealistic. Like it was too much shit happening train on the train. Bus, train of Busan, the zombie movie, the Korean zombie movie, that's a that's on the train. It's a zombie movie on the train. I never, I never seen that. You watch it. Good. Seen. That's what World War Z is based off of, that movie. He played, Brad Pitt was in World War Z. He was in World War I Z. I like World War Z. World War Z was tough. I, I like, like that, yeah. Should have yeah. gotten a sequel, but no. What about movie? Avatar 2? I love the Avatar 2. I haven't seen it yet. You should watch it. They got 4D. Have you seen, uh, f have you heard of the 4DR joint where you can like smell and experience like the that. rain and all that? Nope. No? Nope. Nope. Okay. Uh, last thing I need is like to be like, cause they got the little water that shoots out the back. Like, exactly. The last thing I need is for like, that's a movie about water. I, the, they gonna be shooting water in my, like, 
yeah. the whole movie. I, I would like that experience, man. I think that'll be dope. I man. don't want to be one of those people, but I am one of those people that actually really loves the Avatar movies. So, okay. I don't know. I just like um, immersion. Immersion? I appreciate good immersion. What, I, what is that? Like immersion is like, all right, so it's like uh, like you're immersed in the in the environment, in the movie. In oh, the okay, okay. Like, I like, I, okay. It's like a, like a video So you game. just want to watch the movie. You don't want to have all the extras, the moving seed and all of that. Well, think about know. like, you know, the old Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, that. But like think about like the old Star Wars movies. Like you were immersed in like the world of Star Wars. Like it felt like, you know, you were a part of it, right? i never seen a Star Wars movie. Okay, I'm trying to think of a better example. Then. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to put that out there because I know a lot of people. You know what? Denzel's manager, Mark. I think he was upset at me when I said I've never watched Star Wars because he's too, a man. super huge Star Wars fan. Hmm. Yeah, you should watch Star Wars. You know what? And and I don't have nothing against Star Wars for real. Like I, it's not like I'm like oh I think Star Wars is corny. I just honestly, genuinely never felt called to sitting and watching a Star Wars movie. I understand. Yeah. Well, think of like the, think of like one movie that you felt like super duper immersed in that you were like you felt like you were like kind of not a part of it but like you felt connected to it right yeah that's how i feel about avatar i like avatar like that because it's just like it's like a good like it's escapism that's the word i'm looking for there we go good escapism for sure and it's beautiful like the movie is fucking it's like it's crazy like when you watch it like damn this is all computer generated and i don't even think they make back the money they spend on the damn thing well i mean some i mean the way i look at it is like if they're making six of these and they make them for and they become like this like legendary run of movies. Then so it'll like, be kind of like they'll get it on the back end. Type like, shit. Okay, yeah, all right. type I can shit. see that. I would I can see that. That's kind of how I look. It's like you know sometimes you take a little L for a large win. Okay. It's like yeah. Because if you get to once you get to movie number six, it's like okay, people. There's gonna be people who only tune in to movie number six, and they're like, ah, now I gotta go watch five, four, three, two, one. Only if they good, man. Because they lost me with Matrix when they did that. I fuck with Matrix. I hate Matrix Four. Yeah, and see, I, they lost me at two. I was like, I. It's, uh, you know what? When they put uh, what's my man name and and four uh, what's the, what's the black guy name who uh, replaced Morpheus? I know who you're um, talking about. I, I don't know his name, but I know who you're talking that about. guy, yeah. right? They didn't even tell Lauren Fishburne they was making a number four. Did you know that? Really? They didn't even tell him. That's whack. Yeah. That's whack. And they <laughs> and just made him like a computer program in that one, right? That was the guy from Candyman. Yeah, Candyman. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a uh, terrible Black Mansa. What else was it? Yeah. Was a few other things, but yeah, yeah, that sucks. Movie yeah. talk. I like, I like a good movie. I gotta bring yeah. back my movie podcast. That was my favorite shit. See, there we go. You, you know what? You can start infusing that in this. Right that's here. what I'll do with a one point three billion dollars. I'll do my movie, movie podcast. podcast again. Ooh, then you can get the actors to come because your bag will be crazy. That's right. Power respect money. Definitely. Yeah. And my, so you could get them to sit down with my you. My set would go stupid too. I would build the best set that you ever seen for a movie podcast. That would be crazy. You could literally reconstruct. The set every time to match the aesthetic of the movie. Right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Talking you got about... an Avatar set. Yep. Uh, New Jack City set. Yep. Minutes of Society set. Some type of Avengers Endgame type of set. Yeah, you know that's what fire. Saying? That's fire. A bullet train set on a bullet train. <laughs> yeah. And you can have Brad Pitt <laughs> ass come up here. That'll be dope. Yeah, just yeah, pay Brad Pitt like a milli. Cause yeah. I got I got a I got a Billy. Yeah, that's a pay fact. Pay Brad Pitt like yeah, a milli yeah, to yeah. pop out. Well, when you got a Billy, bro. You 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 in like a one percent club? I think you, I, what is it? Fifty billionaires in America? Something like 50? that. Yeah, yeah you, I'm sure all of those dudes are on text with each other. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, they all know each other. So you join that text thread with like <laughs> Kanye and Zuckerberg and Elon and all of them other motherfuckers with billions. Put that shit right on mute. Yeah, yeah, facts. yeah, facts. Yeah. So back to the music. So what's coming okay. up with you, brother? So we got a new single out now. What, what are we working on? What's kind of moving? Uh, I'm working on a project. Me and my homie Ian. Um, we ha- we hadn't got a name for it. It's gonna drop first quarter. Okay. Uh, so yeah, man, just working, staying consistent. This year is gonna be definitely a a, a year of me taking taking everything to the house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah. I've I've helped out a lot of people, but you know I've definitely been super selfless in my career. But now it's time for me to be selfish, man. And I'm yes, okay sir. with that. Yeah. I would say people got to be selfish. You got to be selfish. It's hard, though. It sounds easy, but when you're such a giving person, I think being selfish is, is challenging. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. So the new project, what are we getting in? Uh, first quarter. First quarter. So yeah, yeah, first quarter. I, I don't have a tentative date, but first quarter for sure. Word. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, more fitness stuff? Every day. That's my life. That shit lifestyle. Word. Yeah. What's the best piece of fitness advice you could give us here today? Uh, stay consistent, you know, and, and go at your pace. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, stop looking all around at what everybody else is doing. Focus on your body. You know, listen to your body. Mm-hmm. Yep, and consistency. Yeah, I for agree. sure. I hurt my back back in September. I used to run a lot. Mm-hmm. And then my back finally started feeling better in, like, December-ish. Yeah. So I started running 
What, do you stretch? Back. How often do you stretch? Well, now, well, after I hurt my back, I stretch like every day just to kind of like get myself yes. back in motion. Yeah. And then obviously now I stretch before every run. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Loosen up a little bit. And then my first run back, I think I killed like three miles. I was straight. Angry. Straight. Damn. I don't like running. I don't I like the running. way it make my shins feel. I love running. I used to do five miles straight and then two miles with uh, with forty pounds on my back. Uh, weighted vest. Yep. You a monster. You know what? Running is escapism too. I love that's why I like Do it. Do you put it on and then the world becomes like a soundtrack and it turns into like this Nike commercial and shit? And you just like, <laughs> you just run it over the bridge. You turn it, you remember that's Forrest funny, I like Gump? That. You remember Forrest Gump? Yeah. He was just like running spray for like fucking two years for no reason. Nah, you know what it's like? You ever watch Dragon Ball Z? You know, a little bit in the okay. beginning. Well, there's yeah. like a part where he yeah. has like the, the weighted vest on and when he takes it off and it hits the ground, it like slams on the ground because the vest is. Heavy as, as hell, yeah. and that's how he learns. Like he flies, all this, whatever. Who are we talking about? Goku. Goku. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So like yeah. that's how I feel with, with the weight of that. When I okay. hit forty pounds back in September, before I hurt my back, yeah, I like would take that vest off, and like when you run after, oh, you, so you fly. You fly for sure. It feels yeah. like you're. It literally feels like you're running on air. For sure. I, I, but you know, that's with anything with that weighted vest. When you do pull ups, when you do any exercise weighted, and then you take it off, you fly. You feel like you're running on air. For sure. And I love yeah. that. So I'm yeah. getting back to that, and I'm being as consistent as I consistently pop. Like, at least four yeah. or five times a week, I'm running two, three miles. No I love vesto. that for you, no man. No vesto, no vesto. I love that for you, bro. Yeah, yeah, stay consistent, man. Run at your pace, and yeah, do your thing, bro. Thank you, man. Yeah. Well, yeah. look, it's been a pleasure having you here. Make yes, sir. Huh? You got a question? What's the question? Why would who disappear? Why would I what? Well, he has to give half the money because... Yeah, because I wouldn't want nobody to know. Yeah, because if you keep the money, they got to announce that you, he won the money. For sure. And, and because I'm already a known person. If I was a regular civilian, I wouldn't care if everybody knew. But I already do right. music, so I already have, you know... People I, I do get it. Exactly. Yeah. So I don't need people to know the number. People don't even know what I have now at this point. Mm. Kind of, yeah. And I don't need all that damn money. I self destruct with the, with one point three yeah, billion. I probably develop a drug habit with <laughs> one point three billion. So, I started smoking mad weed sorry. too. Sorry, oh, I'm sorry. 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 sorry, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Like, but I know we got to get out of here. Look at her face. <laughs> did, did you did you have that donut? Did she did she get the donut? How, how was it? Was the donut good? The donut was good. All right, okay. All she's, right, my new, she's my new PA. Bro, that's dope for real. Shout out to y'all. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna say this before I go though. Yo, real talk. Yeah. Putting those babies, kids have such a dope perspective. And my man was talking about it, uh, doing a, a podcast with kids, man. I told him, you know, kids say the darndest things was so popular because the perspective of a child is so great. Mm. Right. And and having a kid on here, man, maybe a little kid rapper one day or maybe her. <laughs> She'd be you know cool. who has a great podcast with her kid? Two chains. Oh, with his son. Yeah. I never watched it. Funny as hell. I, you know what? I, I should watch it. I see little clips online. On TikTok, so it's a yeah, real yeah, thing. Yeah, it's on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a real thing. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you for turning me on, man. Well, thank you for being yeah. here, brother. Thank you for having me, uh, bro. Before we yeah, get out of here, yeah. uh, Freestyle out now. So make sure you go check that out. Uh, let the people know they can follow you out. Anything else you want to let the fans know, now's the time to do it. This camera right here. There we go. Uh, <laughs> De Niro Ferrar on Instagram. De Niro Ferrar on Twitter. Follow me on all digital streaming. De Niro Ferrar on everything.